welcome back to the channel the condenser has come in we're going to put that in the jeep and I'll get this thing fired up let's go so we're taking the cap off here just like so put that out of the way we're going to take the rotor off just like so we're going to remove this the screwdriver we can get to it Just that bracket right there. It's fairly easy. I got a magnetic screw screwdriver so it doesn't drop. Disconnect the wire with a quarter inch wrench. A little tiny fella here. Here's the old one, so we're going to put that to the side. Here's the new one. I'm going to unscrew this one just a little bit more to make it a little easier to put on. Should be plenty right there. And then this came from Joe's Motor Pool. Part number WOA1631. Got this from Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts. So let's see what this thing looks like. It's about the same but it has a different connector on there so we're going to have to take that screw all the way out may make this more challenging all right so i've decided before i take that totally out I'm going to put the mount the actual condenser in there so that we're ready to go once we uh, take that screw all the way out because that's close to being all the way out. There we go. Just want to give that a little bit of clearance okay snug that up all right we're going to work on trying to get this little screw or this little bolt out without dropping it We're going to go get some like, little needle nose pliers to grab that. So we got these needle nose. Alright. So we got that. Run this through like so. And then work on trying to get that down in the hole. I remember this being a pain when I did it before. I mean, like roll pain, like I don't ever want to do it again kind of thing. apologize if I'm blocking the camera. I may just cut that. I 
and make it a slot. Because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this otherwise. I'm going to try it one more time here. Yeah. That ain't going to work. See, and I just dropped it. Alright, so I cannot get to it right here. I think I'm going to take the whole thing out and do it on, on inside on the bench. Alright, so we changed to these pliers to grab it, which are a little finer. And hopefully you can see I never know with the helmet mount or the head mount if it's showing what I think it's showing. All right, I think it started. We're going to work a few more rounds on there. So I can kind of see it on the back side. Okay, so it's in there. So, well, no, it's not. It's all... Not right. I thought it was, but it's not. It needs to be. Like so. Before we get it turned in too much, I want to figure out how to cut this to make it work. I'm going to tuck it like so. So I'll need to cut here and here so it's just a slot. taking our dikes here and I do have a spare one of these if I mess it up too bad yeah that shot across the shop but it fits in there So now we're just going to tighten that up. And then we'll have to remount this thing. Probably have to check the timing again. like so we're going to mount this back in here but in the meantime kind of had our tape come off so we're going to put a new piece of tape in there make sure that's nice and protected and just pot oil it up a little bit and put it on all right so we got it put back in pretty secure see what we got but what I want to do is I want to take that spark plug out of number one and see if we got any spark at all before I try to uh, get it to turn over all right we're about to hit the starter 
see if we get any spark. No spark. getting spark now that's good so we're going to put the number one spark plug back in and see if we can't get any sort of firing up all right we're going to see if we can't get this thing to start i'll take it i'll take it did you hear it it started up now I don't know if it's flooding or whatever, but it, it fired up. It fired up. Oh look at all the oil. Look at all the oil that was uh that's in it. Wow. It's a little bit of oil. Let's see if we can get anything again. It's just a little wool. Nope. Pull the choke out. Let's see if that helps any. So it's running on starter fluid right now. Definitely burning oil. But we're not going to run it too much more tonight. Happy that it ran some. And uh, we're going to... I don't want to run it without uh, knowing how much water I got in here. And uh, checking the oil and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're going to leave well enough alone right there. And call that a success. So I appreciate you all watching. You all take care. It's time for supper.